Yo, what's going on, guys? Shake and Bake back, and yeah, I mean, it's a little late, but I've just been chilling back, and I, I was spending my VC, and I want to know what you guys think of some options for the My GM mode, because I'm looking at some things, and I'm not sure if I should make some deals, or what I should do if I should wait longer in the season to make some trades, because I need to get a draft pick soon. It's one of the goals, and I have to do it, but I'd like to get a couple draft picks. I want to get a bunch of top picks, man, including my own top pick, but you'll see right here I was, uh, upgrading the scouting I, I wanted to make sure i have my scouting all set i do not want to get screwed over by some terrible scouts and you're gonna see something in a second here once i spend uh all my vc pretty much on this last one the the last level for some reason level nine i'm not really sure but or no it's actually level 10 is negative badges on your scouts are nullified but my scouts don't have any negative badges so i don't know or my scout i guess we only have one scout so I don't know if that means I need to hi hire a better scout which has negatives and positives because my guy just has one positive so I'm not really sure about that but yeah if you do know about this game mode and you, you know maybe you've tried it out you played a lot more than me then please do let me know in the comment section but you'll see in a second I go over to the scout and all he has is a positive so I'm not really sure he's got the uh, little telescope thing and it shows you what that is in a second but it doesn't have any negatives I mean this guy looks like a good scout it's got sleuth so you can it'll tell you when they're coming back and stuff like that and he'll, he'll be able to do it fastly too but that doesn't I mean that's all right but I, I want to at least get started on scouting these guys and knowing like if this guy's gonna be all right is this a guy I might have to look at and I have to start thinking about what positions am I going to start to build my roster around with not just guys from the draft, but also from free agents coming up in this next summer because I do have a lot of cap space. That's one really good thing the Celtics have, man. Lots and lots of cap space and a pretty good amount of money. I mean, Boston's a big market team, so they can definitely spend the money. So right here, you're going to see, I decided to go and look at some of the scouts. And for some reason, I don't know, this is definitely true. If you look at uh, Clayton Cameron, I'm going to scroll over his name. And you'll see his picture changes for some reason. I'm not sure why the outside picture changes. But you see right there what he looks like. And you'll see, like, I don't know, about, like, 40 seconds from now, he does not look like that. Like, in that picture right there, he was black. And then all of a sudden, in another picture, he's Chinese. So I don't know how that happens. But it might be just a little glitchy, I'm assuming. This is, as I said, guys, it's one of the randomized draft classes. I wanted to go with this because I think it's kind of cool. I mean, because... Then you can't really cheat and say, well, I know this guy's going to be good. This guy's got lots of talent. And you can do that with the other ones. And this way, it is so random. You have no clue if any, any of these guys are going to be good. And yeah, see, there was Clayton Cam. We just went back over him, and he was Chinese. <laughs> or at least he looked Chinese to me. I don't know. But I, I, that must be a glitch, I'm assuming. Because he doesn't even look like that overall when you look at him. And I, I'm looking at, you'll see, I'm looking at a small forward. This guy... I actually like this guy. Some of the strengths that they have for some of the guys are kind of pretty mediocre. It just says like the same thing, like low post, can shoot the three, can do this, can do that. I even, this guy looks pretty good, but then again, I looked at his strengths and weaknesses and overall, he is not a very good player right now. That is, that is not very good looking, but maybe his, uh, what's it called? Maybe, maybe his, uh, what is it? What, what's the word I'm looking for? potential there we go maybe his potential will be high later on down the road you'll see some of them still do have question marks and we haven't scouted them yet or at least that area of them so i'm assuming as you go further down the season it will do more scouting and then maybe we can take a look at some of the draft picks who i like and who i, who I think i might be in my range but right now i am going to show you guys in about i don't know like 30 seconds from now i'm going to show you guys the conferences and where we stand on that aspect because we do have to figure out which team we're going to be trying to trade for draft pick wise because I want to have the best chances of getting in that lottery because they do have a lottery system and yeah it, it nothing is definite man so I want to try and get as many picks from these teams man the Hawks the Cavs the Pistons the Magic and the Bucks and I'd even throw the 76ers in there and then from the West the Pelicans the Kings maybe the Suns it seems like those are gonna be the guys that I want to get the first round draft picks from this year and I've got no problem with even trading one of my first round next for uh, the 2015 season for this year's pick because of how good this year's draft is supposed to be. Because it is supposed to be based on the real draft class coming out, just with different names and uh, they just look different. That's what they're supposed to be based on. And you'll see, I'm looking at some trades right here for the Hawks. I'm looking Jordan Crawford for the first round pick. That looks like the best deal to me. Because later on, you'll see, I look at Jordan Crawford, and he will not re-sign. He's already said he's not coming back to Boston. So, 
I mean, we gotta get something for him eventually. And then you'll see it. The Kings, they, they want, they'll take him right now. I don't know why, but... And we'd have to give up our 2015 round pick for them. But we'd also get Travis Outlaw, and that's probably the best deal from them. But I don't know about that one. Given the 2015 and Jordan Crawford, I think I'd be better off to go with the Hawks trade. Because then it's just a straight-up trade, nice and easy. We can wipe our hands free of Jordan Crawford, who is getting pretty frustrated, man. He's starting to bring the team morale down. That is one thing that's really, really hard. The team chemistry and team morale, because we're losing so many games, a lot of guys want out. They're frustrated. You'll see Courtney Lee right here. He's at a minus eight just because of how frustrated he's heated, it says. That's how mad he is. So... I, I did try and look for some trades for him because I got to get rid of some of these guys eventually. Courtney Lee does have a pretty big contract. He got signed to a nice deal, man. The Celtics did him good when they signed because they expected a lot from him. You know, we were getting rid of Ray Allen. We were expecting Courtney Lee would come back and Courtney Lee would eventually fill his role. And yeah, that, that didn't really do the job when Ray Allen didn't come back. He did definitely not fill in, especially with <laughs> Terry. Didn't we get him? I think midseason it might have been or maybe we signed him before the year. I'm not really sure. I can't remember that. I've got a terrible memory, but I'm looking through trades, and nothing was really jumping out at me so far. Danny Green, that's a nice trade right there. I do like Danny Green. A couple years on his deal. But I saw this right here, and I really like Shannon Brown. It's a one-year guy. I can, I'll can, i have plenty of cap room next year. You do realize the cap is pretty important. That's one thing where I want to be able to sign a big star because I can definitely court someone to come to Boston, especially with all these new draft picks. And I did call up this, this GM, and I did make the deal, so... We did lose a pick from 2015, but I think it was someone else's pick that I had actually traded for. So it wasn't that big of a deal. We get a big contract off our hands with Courtney Lee. I mean, it gets not a huge deal, but that's a couple years off the books that we really don't need. But it is more players that we're going to have to find next year, too. As you'll see, we don't have many guys under contract. Only about, what, like seven or eight guys under contract. So we're going to have to definitely do some work, sign some free agents, and yeah. Definitely, we got to get a big free agent. I'm not really sure. I definitely think I want to still keep Rondo, though. Rondo's just too talented to try and trade away. But you will see, yeah. Here was Jordan Crawford. He won't resign. So, we're going to have to find something. We're going to have to figure out how to get rid of him. And I did want to show you guys quickly the list of what looks like the, the free agents for next year, at least. I had to go under this to find them. LeBron, Melo, Duncan, Wade, Bosh, Irving. I like Kyrie. I like Kawhi. I like those type of guys. Danny Grange is a guy, potentially. Maybe even Kemba Walker. I like some of those guys, but I'm not really sure who I want to go for. So if you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments section. And I hope you guys enjoyed.